Hi, my name is Michael Flippen. I'm a member of the American Academy of Orthopedic Surgery. I'm here today to answer questions about what are the treatment options for a fracture of the second vertebrae. Um, the second vertebrae is often referred to as C2. It's the second bone in the cervical spine. The most common and most controversial area of the cervical spine fractures of the second vertebrae, really this part called the odontoid process, and that's what I'll focus on today. There are really three main types of odontoid process fractures. Type 1, where you pull off a piece of bone from the very top. This is usually a stable injury, and as long as the other ligaments in the cervical spine are intact, typically it can be treated with just a collar. The second type of injury is called a um, type 2 injury, and it happens right at the base of the odontoid process. This is much more controversial, and I'll get to in a moment. The third type of injury is called a type 3 injury, and it's at the it's in the base of the vertebra itself. This also tends to heal well and can many times be treated with a collar um, or without surgery. The type 2 injury is the one that's much more difficult because of the blood supply to the bone. It really doesn't heal very well. So oftentimes we have to make a lot of tough decisions about what to do. Really, honestly, the thing to remember is every decision is patient specific and a lot of it depends on the age of the patient, associated injuries, medical comorbidities, um, is the fracture displaced? Are the bones together? Do they separate a lot? Um, all play a very important role in the decision making and it really is a patient specific decision that you're trying to make. The non-surgical options will often include a collar, which is either a hard or soft collar that will support the head and keep the neck still and can often help with healing. Sometimes we'll often use a halo, which is where you put a ring around the head and attach it to a frame around the shoulders. It really immobilizes the cervical spine very well. Your surgical options will include something sometimes called a fusion, where we'll put in screws and rods or wires to mobilize the bone and help them to grow together into one solid bone. Uh, the other option is sometimes using what's called an odontoid screw, where we'll put a screw into the bone that really holds the bones together and allows them uh, to heal. Really, it depends on the, pat the fracture pattern, the age of the patient, and, and uh, many other factors that need to be weighed together. Most importantly, it really relies on a patient to communicate with the physician and them to come together uh, and make a, a good decision that everyone can be happy with uh, weighing the risk and benefits of the injury and the treatment types. If you have any other questions, please let us know at orthoinfo.org. Thank you very much. Have a good day.